Um, one big theme, one concern we had was protectionism, was the threat of both trade and investment protectionism. Um, it was widely uh, understood and recalled that trade protectionism prolonged and deepened the Great Recession in uh, 1929. Um, the, the threat of world markets seizing up was very much on the minds of companies, and it was very much on the minds of governments. Um, just to name one response, the G20 was very quick to uh, issue uh, protectionist policies and to be vigilant, to say they were going to be vigilant. So that was one theme. A second theme was the uh, importance that we knew had to be placed on the particular needs and concerns of small and medium enterprises, uh, because that's where the majority of jobs are created, and those enterprises uh, were particularly vulnerable. Um, uh, to, among other things, the third uh, issue, which was the drying up of credit and the uh, absence of liquidity, um, which was very much on the concerns of, of enterprises of, of all sizes. Obviously, business can't operate if they can't get access to credit. Um, a fourth big concern, and this has become even more of a concern and more of a prominent theme, I think, uh, in the in the years since, is uh, the importance on a work ready workforce, and in that context, the need to focus on our education policies and our training policies. Um, and then finally, I I think the business community was very much um, alive to and sensitive to the importance of social safety nets and the. Um, uh, the absolute um, uh, necessity of government addressing those social safety nets, uh, whether it was unemployment insurance or, in the case of the United States, uh, health insurance, which is a particular concern for companies because health insurance is so often tied to having a job here.